Yo, 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 YouTube, what's going down? It's your boy Mike Man with video number two. Are you afraid of the dark? I know I was. Man, it didn't matter if clients wanted to shoot, if I wanted to shoot. It's just when the sun went down, so did my camera, man. And I just really got tired of that. And uh, I started to play with light. I started to learn light. And I found that I really like to shoot more at night. You know what I'm saying? It's just like something about the night that makes my creative juices flow just a little bit stronger. But uh, that could just be a personal preference for me. But if you do have a fear of shooting in the dark and you would like to know a little bit more, I hope this video can assist you in getting comfortable with shooting in the dark. Man, night photography is a fun thing to do. You can get real creative and you know what I'm saying? We just out here at the parking garage at the UNLV here in Las Vegas. You know what I'm saying? It's a Friday night, feeling all right, playing with light. After this video, I'm hoping that you won't be afraid of the dark. Listen, listen, listen. I know that may have been a little intimidating, especially if you haven't shot at night, but I'm gonna go through everything that I just showed you guys and let you know why and how I use it. And to my beginners out there, baby, all you need is a camera. All you need is a camera. So you grab your camera, you get out there and start shooting tonight if you wanted to, but I do suggest you shoot with a lower aperture lens, preferably a 2.8 and lower. All right. Now to the lenses. I only own three lenses, so sometimes I bring them all, other times I don't. Just depends on the use case scenario. But first lens that I bring out is a Sony Zeiss 55 1.8. Very good little light lens. I also bring out that, ooh, that 20 mil. It's as sharp as a 24 mil G Master, so I got no complaints there. And when I'm feeling freaky and I don't want to get in everybody's face when I'm shooting at night and weird everybody out, I shoot with that telephoto, you know what I'm saying? That uh, Tamron uh, 70 to 180, 2.8. The other two lenses are f 1.8s. All right, and here's my camera bag that I usually bring with me when I go out. Um, I just got it off Amazon for like, I think 50 bucks. You know what I'm saying? It's got a little cubby holes. I got my uh, fanny pack, my Nike fanny pack, and I got my little individual slots to carry stuff. Got a couple of lens filters up there, and uh, that's about it. Now, this guy's new to the family. I actually got him on offer up about a week ago for 70 bucks. This is a Nanlite RGB bi, bi color light. I hope I said that right, but uh, I'm gonna test this out tonight for the first time and see how it does. It's just a LED light. I got it off Amazon for really cheap. So we're gonna use that as well. On to the flash, man. I got two 8200s, two Goldox 8200s. You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm gonna be shooting with on the flash side of things. These are two beauty dishes. One's a 25 inch, one is a 34 inch. They both have diffusion panels and grids. So we're gonna play around with that. You guys are gonna see that as well. And I also have a C-stand that's gonna hold the 8200s and a sandbag so we can be safe and make sure nothing's falling. All right, all right, all right. We at location number one. This is gonna be ambient lighting, just the light that's available to you. No extra lighting, just your camera, your lens, the streets, if that's what you're shooting at, or a beautiful model, if that's what you have. All right, let's give it up for my beautiful wife for being the model today. You know what I'm saying? I appreciate her so much for being here to support me and my YouTube channel and my endeavors. It's really a blessing. I appreciate you. Thank you so much. You're welcome. All right, let's get it. Let's go, honey. Let's get this, let's get this work. Let's get this work.
Now we are moving on to balancing ambient light, which is the light that's available on the location and flash. So the first thing you wanna do when balancing the both is get your ambient exposure in your camera. So without the flash, don't even turn the flash on. Don't even do anything with the light as far as the flash. Just act like you didn't have it. Take a picture to where you like how the lighting is in the background. Not for the person that you're shooting, just for the background light. Then the flash will be added to fill the model. All right, and real quick, I almost forgot. So I also use this Godox trigger. This one's made for Sony because that's what I shoot, but this guy talks to that guy, and every time I click the shutter to take a picture, it'll know to let off the flash. Another quick tip is camera settings. So for my use case scenario today, I'm shooting at f1.8 and I'm shooting at 1 50th of a second on the shutter speed. And the reasoning behind that is the f1.8, it isolates the subject. So if you've ever seen pictures that have like a super blurry background and the person is just like the focus, that's a lower f-stop. Shutter speed, I'm shooting at 1 50th of a second because it allows more light into the sensor. So I don't have to use as much ISO. When you use ISO, that's artificial light that's in the camera. And if you end up using too much of it, your images can look grainy. And sometimes that looks good, but that's not the look that I'm going for today. So I really just want clean images that look good, that like pop. So that's my reasoning behind that. And I'll also put the settings on the pictures that I show you guys. So don't worry, it's all good, all right? All right, y'all. All right, we about to bounce to that next, next tip. Let go. Check it out, I know y'all just seen that it was pitch black over here. Y'all saw that, right? Just have fun. I just brought a couple of lights out and I was able to create in complete darkness. So it's not about knowing it, it's about trial and error. You're never gonna learn, you're never gonna grow unless you go out and do something. 
different. I'm new to the YouTube stuff, but I almost forgot to tell y'all, like, comment, and subscribe, man. I'm not getting no chips to be out here. I'm not getting no dollar bills to be out here. I'm here for you guys. I'm taking my time to hopefully help you guys create. Don't be scared of the dark. All right.